Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's energies towards you, what they're thinking or feeling about you, and what are their intentions or next possible actions going to be. Um, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and uh, leave the rest. You can also exchange the energies because energy is fluid, so keep that in mind as well. Um, so let's jump right into your reading for the sign of Cancer Spirit. What guidance, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding the person you are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Cancer need to know about this person's energies? What is this person's energies? Okay, so let's see what their energies are towards you, Cancer. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Well, the King of Pentacles is very thoughtful, methodical, practical. They take their time with things. Um, they're planners, detail-oriented, etc. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. But I feel like when they think about you or this connection, they think that this is the energy they have to kind of bring to the connection, right? They need to be serious, mature, dependable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or at least they have to present themselves in that way. And I think they feel that they have to present themselves in that way because we have the seven of wands here. And it's almost like they view you as someone that might be guarded against them resistant against them or whatever offer they have to bring to you maybe you're just not interested especially in this deck um this figure here her head is turned she's not even looking at whatever is coming towards her um the knight of pentacles is very interesting to me that it's here because I almost feel like this person admires you or puts you on a pedestal, Cancer. I don't know if you're looking good lately, if you've changed anything in your appearance, or if you've just been working on improving yourself in some way. But I feel like this person, they, they see what's in front of them, which I feel is you, let's say this Nine of Pentacles. And it's almost like Cancer might not be interested in what I have to offer. Um, because they're just so much better than me at such a, you know, much more attractive, much more intelligent, much more kind, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's almost like they've put you on this pedestal and so they feel they have to kind of be on their best behavior here. King of Pentacles. Um, the King of Pentacles is like the person that you would take home to mom and dad. So, you know, it's interesting that they're thinking in this way. We'll clarify more. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. Um, Four of Wands is a card about celebrating rites of passage, um, domestic bliss, a happy home, a happy life. Um, this person could be thinking about this or there's something that could be happening at home that's significant. Another thing I wanna mention about King of Pentacles, just you know, to be completely um, upfront with my viewers here, <laughs> is that for me as a reader, the King of Pentacles typically is already in some sort of a commitment. They are providing for someone or supporting someone and um, typically end up being already in a long-term commitment. So there's a possibility that this person is thinking about the fact that they're in a commitment already or that perhaps you are in a commitment already. That's also a possibility. So let's get some more energies out here. Spirit, what else do we need to know for Cancer? Ah. What else do we need to know about the energies this person is bringing to this connection with Cancer? What are they thinking, feeling about Cancer this time? Oh, we have parting ways there is a disconnect between you. So there could have been some sort of separation, some sort of, you know, ending of a connection. Maybe you parted ways. Maybe there's heartbreak here because of someone's actions. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? What else do we need to know? Love letter, a message is on its way. 
Okay, so they could be wanting to reconnect here, Cancer. Maybe that's why they view you as this kind of seven of wands, someone that's resistant, uh, not interested. Maybe because there's been a separation of some sort or maybe you've blocked them and they are, haven't been able to contact you or maybe you haven't been speaking for some time. Let me get some more for Cancer. What do we need to know? Falling leaves, time changes everything. So the separation could have happened some time ago. Maybe they feel like over time, they, they're having a change of heart. Um, there's changes, transitions happening in someone's life that are, you know, causing them to think about you or think about your connection. We'll see what else we get. Um, let me get some more. The more we clarify, the more we know. What else do we need to know for Cancer? regarding this person's energies. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know about this person's energies? We have Taurus ruled by Venus. So this is kind of like the higher font. Um, this person could be a Taurus. They could have Taurus in their chart or they're exhibiting traits of a Taurus, which is very rooted, very, um, they like the nice things in life. Um, they're people that you can typically count on. Uh, Taurus is very steady. Um, okay, what else? Loyal, faithful, and dependable. Yeah, exactly. Um, so this person could be loyal to you after time has passed. Um, maybe you were loyal to them and they took advantage of it. Um, in any case, they're thinking about being faithful or dependable to you now or perhaps they're thinking about what they should have been towards you you know it's like i should have been more faithful more dependable more of a king of pentacles all right so let's get some clarity here on these energies by the way cancer if you're interested in any of the decks that i use these are my own oracle decks and they are um, linked in my website which is linked in the description box. <laughs> All right, can we get some clarity for Cancer? What do we need to know? For Cancer, what do we need to know? Let's start with this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands. Okay, why is the King of Pentacles? Can you tell me about the King of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles shows up again. I Yeah, and then there's the Four of Cups. I'm not going to take all of these because there's a lot. It's like 10 cards here. But the Four of Cups is kind of like the Seven of Wands. It's like someone's just not interested. They're not open to a new opportunity, a renewal. They're not open to a cup that's right in front of them or they can't see it. Um, some of you, this person, you're not interested in them. Uh, when they do come forward, when they make an offer, and others of you, you don't even know that they're interested in you again. So how can you be, you know, open to an opportunity that hasn't been presented to you, right? In any case, this person has the Ten of Wands here with the King of Pentacles, so it's almost like there's burdens, obligations, um, a heavy weight, a load that someone's carrying. And I think it's because of whatever ending has taken place. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Um, others of you, this person, this is not for everyone. I could tell you right now, it's not for everyone. It's a small number of you. And it's like this person knows they have to be single to be with you. And you're not interested until that happens. That's why the nine of, it's not, and that's a burden for this person to be single free, you know. That's not for everyone. I just want to be clear on that because I don't feel it very strongly it's just a possibility that i'm like seeing here tell me about the king of pentacles what, what else do we need to know about the king of pentacles this one ah i dropped it queen of swords okay hmm i think that this is how okay so i feel like you're hard to approach oh and there's a queen of pentacles okay i feel like there is a third party yeah, two of pentacles, ace of pentacles. And it's almost like this person has to choose. Yeah, there's the two of swords. 
it, I feel like I'm speaking to a cancer where this person has to choose you over another person or another thing. I think the difficulty here as well, it could be financial, but I'm almost picking up that it's like this person feels responsible to this queen of pentacles. So despite like the back and forth of trying to figure out what to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's harder because they feel like they owe this queen of pentacles something. This could be a partner or a family member or a boss. Okay, let's keep going because I want to get one more. Now the queen of swords could be that, okay, there's the four of wands again. So I feel like something's happening in someone's home. There's an issue there, an obstacle. Can I get one more for the King of Pentacles? I feel like this person, they know that they have to set a boundary here with the Queen of Swords or just be open and honest about how they feel. That's probably why Love Letter is here. Um, but that's like a burden in and of itself. This person is like really overwhelmed, I feel. Can I get some more insight into this King of Pentacles? What else do we need to know? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles shows up again. So I feel like they're, they're significant, this Queen of Pentacles. And there's the Four of Wands again. Yeah, and then the Nine of Swords. There's something going on at home that someone's like stressed about, you know, worried about, uncertain about, Two of Pentacles. Let's keep going because I feel like I'm starting to get a story here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? I want this one and this one. Yeah, Six of Swords. So, okay, let me get these two as well. Okay, so I got the Ace of so Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords. Well, the Six of Swords is about a departure of some sort. So now I'm starting to think that this person, when they think about you, when they think about this connection, maybe you left this person behind. Like you left them, you walked away from them, and you're doing your own thing now. Others of you, this person is, they know they have to walk away from something to be with you. Um, so I, I, I'm starting to think there's two groups of cancer that I'm reading for here. And I feel like the issue is that someone is unsure about the future. There's not any reassurance that they have about the outcome of something with the seven of pentacles. There's anxiety. There's a, um, you know, a wondering of like how things are going to play out. And with the high priestess is because this person is kind of in the dark here. Um, either they don't know how you feel or they don't know how they feel or they just have no idea how the future will play out here. And so, yeah, and there's the fool. So it's almost like if this person's thinking about having a new beginning with you, a new journey with you, taking a risk with you, they don't know how it's going to end up. If they have to leave someone or something behind they don't know how that's going to play out tell me about the seven of wands okay we have the three of wands tell me about the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here Where's the seven of wands here five of swords Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So again, it's like there's hesitation. Three of Wands, Knight of Wands. You know, they're two, they're opposites. The Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands doesn't wait for anything. The Knight of Wands just impulsively acts and takes actions, very passionate, very motivated. But I feel there's an obstacle here. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. And it's like someone's holding back because of this obstacle. And again, it's going to be different for all of you, I feel. I think some of you are dealing with someone that's married or committed to something, someone. Um, and so they know that there would be conflict there. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like they're hesitating when they should be acting. Others of you, this is the person that thinks that you're not interested. There's going to be almost like a because of the difficulty or conflict between you, when they do come forward, it's like, will Cancer even want to be with me again? Or are they gonna lock me out again? Five of Pentacles. Am I gonna be out in the cold again? Um, that's really what this person is thinking. Let's get a little bit more insight into their thoughts, feelings. 
Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings. Ah. Towards cancer, towards this connection. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings. Tell me more. I'm ready to commit. What else? What else do we need to know? About this person's thoughts, feelings. I'm taking action. Okay. I think the action is going to be this message. Please forgive me. And bottom of the deck, it's all my fault. So, you know, I think that they have something to ask forgiveness for. Um, and that's probably why love letter is here. There's a message that needs to be delivered. But I, I honestly feel like this, I'm taking action and I'm ready to commit is like someone could possibly be like talking themselves up or like trying to motivate themselves to act because I just don't see it in the cards. I see them being overwhelmed. I see them trying to present themselves as someone that knows what they're going to do. So let's look at their intentions. What is this person's intentions, next actions towards cancer? Oops. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's intentions or next actions? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's intentions or next actions towards cancer? Let's see what we got. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords, wow, and the Five of Pentacles. I think this person might end a cycle or end whatever is holding them back, even if it hurts them or affects them negatively. There's the magician at the bottom of the deck. So again, it's like someone's taking action here that could hurt them, but I feel like they know that that's required for them to like maybe prove themselves to you here. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. What do we need to know about this Ten of Swords? Six of Cups, maybe ending something from the past. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Something has to give, and there's a Six of Pentacles, a give and a take. Someone needs to give in order to receive. And I feel like the giving is the end ending something in order to be able to offer something else. So this person knows. I think that um, you wouldn't forgive them or even talk to them until this was resolved on their end. And they know that. Tell me about the five of pentacles. It's like they're thinking in advance. Tell me about the five of pentacles. The lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, and then there's the higher font at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy. So I feel like this person, the, the loss is in relation to some sort of like partnership, commitment, contract, or obligation. So what I mean by that is that this person, in order to have the partnership they desire, something else has to be given up. Can we get one more energy for this person? One more energy for this person that cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. That's that hesitation that I was talking to you about. They know they have to reach out to you, but, and they know they have to like communicate, but I feel like everything else is like a deterrent. Can I get one more? Yeah, one more for cancer. Yeah, one more. You have taught me so much. Yeah, over time. They've learned a lesson over time. Bottom of the deck, I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Yeah, they realized it possibly a little bit too late or after some sort of time passed. And now it's like they're coming in to ask for forgiveness and hope for a renewal of some sort and it's going to be up to you cancer it's not like this person can dictate their future they lost that privilege 
So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that helps me out so much, and it's a free way of supporting what I do here on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time out of their day to do that. Everybody who's so supportive, comments, and continues to watch my videos. Thank you so much, and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.